Oh, red fellas, in this video, we are going to see the best NVIDIA control panel settings for DaVinci Resolve. And first of all, you need to navigate to the search bar on your Windows and you need to search NVIDIA in the search bar. Once you type NVIDIA in the search bar, you will have two options here NVIDIA control panel and the NVIDIA GeForce experience. So, first of all, we have to dive straight into the NVIDIA GeForce experience. Oh, right, fellas. So, as you can see, I'm right inside my NVIDIA GeForce experience. Once you're right inside, you need to navigate to drivers. Once you're right inside that, you need to click on these three vertical dots. And once you do so, you will have two options here Nvidia Studio Driver and Game Ready Driver. You need to go with the Nvidia Studio Driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps. And if you are unable to see Studio Driver here and you can only see the Game Ready Driver, it means that your GPU does not support it. And you can go with the Game Ready Driver for that case. So once you have selected the Nvidia Studio Driver, you need to download and install it. And once you're done, Make sure you have the latest version of the NVIDIA Studio Driver installed on your PC. You can check it by clicking on check for updates and you will see the message that you have the latest NVIDIA Studio Driver installed on your PC. Once you're done, you need to go back to the home. As you can see, I have a DaVinci Resolve at my home and once I click on this, I can apply the best optimized GPU acceleration settings right from the NVIDIA GeForce experience. So once you're right inside, you need to click on optimize and it will try the best optimized settings for the DaVinci Resolve and if you cannot see your DaVinci Resolve at your home that's fine you are good to go with that so once you're done let us go right inside the NVIDIA control panel again you need to go to the search and you need to type NVIDIA in the search bar now we need to dive straight into the NVIDIA control panel oh let's fellas so once you're right inside first of all you need to go to adjust image settings with the preview once you're right inside you need to click on use the advanced 3d image settings and uh, then you need to navigate to configure surround physics and make sure you apply the changes before doing anything just click on yes in the processor of the physics settings you need to select your GPU do not go with the auto select recommended or the CPU we need to select the GPU because we want the processor of the GPU to be used for the physics settings it is recommended because if you are playing games on your PC along with the editing that is the best setting that you can do so once you are done we need to go to the manage 3d settings once you're right inside we have two options here global settings and the program settings you can apply the global settings but I do not recommend it I recommend to go with the program settings so that we can apply the GPU acceleration settings to the DaVinci Resolve specifically. So once you are right inside the program settings, you need to click on this checkbox, show only programs found on this PC, which means that it will list all the programs that are available to be optimized for the GPU acceleration. So after that, you need to click on this drop down and you need to find your program that you are going to apply the effects. So as you can see, I cannot find the DaVinci Resolve. So I will click on add so that I can manually add the DaVinci Resolve into the NVIDIA control panel. So once I click on add, I can see the programs that are found on my PC. And as you can see, this is the DaVinci Resolve and I, I have located a program by clicking on the add. So I will double click on this and it will be loaded automatically into my NVIDIA control panel. Still, if you are unable to locate it, you need to click on add and you need to click on browse. I will tell you the default location of the DaVinci Resolve. You need to go to the local disk C. You need to go to the program files. You need to navigate to black magic design. This is the DaVinci Resolve and you need to find the application file. This is the exe file. You need to double click on this and it will be automatically opened into the program settings. All right, so let us apply the best NVIDIA control panel settings for the DaVinci Resolve. So for the image scaling, go with on and keep the sharpness at the 50% and you need to click on OK. For the anitropic filtering, go with 16x. For the anti-aliasing FX AA, go with on. For anti-aliasing gamma correction, make sure it is on. But if you see any noise in your videos, you can go with off. But for now, on is fine. For the anti-aliasing mode, you need to select enhance the application setting. And for that setting, you need to go with 8x. For the anti-aliasing transparency, go with 8x super sample. You can ignore the background application max frame rate. For the CUDA GPUs, this is a very important setting. It is important if you have multiple GPUs, uh, you need to click on use these GPUs and you need to select your graphics card here and you need to click on OK. For the CUDA system fallback policy, you need to select driver default. For the low latency mode, make sure it is on. 
you can also go with the ultra but it will make your program very chopping and lagging it is recommended to go with on for the max frame rate you can ignore this you can also ignore the monitor technology for the multi-frame sampled AAMF AA you need to click on on for the open GL GDI compatibility you need to select the prefer performance for the open GL rendering GPU you need to select your graphics card here for the power management mode you need to select prefer maximum performance you can ignore this preferred refresh rate for the texture filtering you need to click on on for the texture filtering negative LOD bias you need to click on clamp for the texture filtering quality you can go with high performance for the texture filtering trilene optimization you need to click on on for thread optimization make sure it is on for triple buffering you need to make it as on for the vertical sync you can ignore this you can also ignore the visuality for the Vulkan OpenGL preset method, you need to click on Prefer Layered on DXGI Swap Chain. And once you are done applying these settings, you need to click on Apply at the bottom right corner of the screen and you are done. So now let us go right inside the DaVinci Resolve and apply the GPU acceleration settings. So first of all, you need to go to the DaVinci Resolve. This is the button here. You need to click on this. And once you are right inside, you can see multiple options here. We are concerned with the preferences. Once you are right inside the preferences, you can see the memory and the GPU at the first tab. And for the limit resolve memory usage to 12 GB, that is perfectly fine. And you also need to limit the fusion memory cache to the maximum that is 9 gigabytes. And for the GPU configuration, for the GPU processing mode, do not select this auto. You can select the CUDA and you can also select the OpenCL. If you have NVIDIA graphics card, you can select the CUDA. If you have AMD graphics card, you can select the OpenCL or OpenGL. And uh, for now, I have NVIDIA graphics card, so I will select the CUDA. And for the GPU selection, I will uncheck this box and I will click on this checkbox so that I can select my GPU. It is useful if you have multiple GPUs on your PC. You might have integrated or the dedicated GPU. We want the dedicated GPU to be used so that we can use the maximum output from our GPU. So you can select your GPU from that list and that is perfectly fine. And next you need to go to the decode options and make sure you select all of these options and you can click on use gp for 3 rd that is decomposition and debuyer that is perfectly fine and once you're done you need to click on save and you will see the message that preference is updated and you need to restart your DaVinci Resolve and your DaVinci Resolve is now perfectly optimized. Now it will use your GPU while you are rendering your videos or while you are editing your videos in the DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. I hope you like this video. Follow along with the video and your DaVinci Resolve will be perfectly optimized. So that's it and I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for upcoming tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates from my videos every time i upload on my channel so that's it and uh, have a nice day see you next time